yesterday I had a thought a thought I had a lot of thoughts <laughs> in regards to to the design of this to be honest I kind of stayed until pretty late just like rethinking things I think I came up with a cool solution I'm gonna do a Murphy bed uh, if you guys don't know what a Murphy bed is it's basically one of those beds that like fall down but so let's say that I'm gonna have a bed here so I'm gonna sleep like this lengthwise and this folds down to here and here there's the kitchen area uh, the bed is gonna probably be something like this long so it's gonna come like this rest on the on the on the thing on the fucking like cupboard I don't know I don't know how to say words and the coolest thing about that is that in the daytime I can just fold the bed up and I have all this space and because I have a, a, like the cupboard here balcony or whatever and the Murphy bed goes up to here I can still have space in the garage I can still put things on there and on here so that's the plan right now but uh, yesterday I also thought that uh, I think we need to take this in stages and the first stage is to take care of insulation and to gut the van so that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna start taking apart some of these uh, interior parts I guess and yeah we'll go from there <laughs> watching YouTube tutorials as we go yeah there's been some commitments that have been made <laughs> I bought the insulation I was driving here and I'm not gonna lie I was a bit anxious um, and this is because so far this has been just a plan the whole idea of me living in a van it even rhymes but but very soon it's gonna be a reality and I feel like I haven't really done much progress towards it and so I thought man fuck it I'm gonna to go to the store I'm gonna buy the insulation it's gonna be official so I mean first I thought I'm gonna to go to the store look at the insulation but you know how that goes so I went there and I bought it my plan is to use these bits of wood they're pretty thin because I need them to be flexible so I'm gonna be using them to create a little um, structure inside of the van and then i'm going to use this as the the attaching point for for the the rest of the wood basically the rest of the walls and then i'm going to be putting this first as a as a first barrier of insulation this is supposed to be thermal and acoustic insulation i'm going to be sticking it in with some spray adhesive I got this for like the little like nuts and crannies where I can't really get any of these materials I just put some foam in there and then the big boy I'm gonna be putting this big mineral wool uh, which is supposed to be like really good thermal insulation yeah that's the plan it's exciting but for some reason a part of me is thinking that like man what if I uh, do all of this build and then for some reason I'm not going to be able to to get the van running Today was a good day. I, I must say that I had a big a big plan I wanted to basically gut the inside of the van. I wanted to 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 remove all of the basically the <laughs> I guess the aesthetic uh, That it had before so I took out all the side panels of the doors the screws they weren't even corroded, but they had so much dust building up in them. Uh, yeah, it, it was stone, <laughs> basically. So I had to be using a screwdriver as a chisel and just kind of breaking it so that I could uh, take out the screws, but I managed to do all of them, uh, which was pretty nice. As you can see there's a little bit of rust in the floor um, I didn't see it <laughs> um, but I think I think we'll be fine that it's nothing major it's just like little bits of like like if you guys don't know uh, last year or so like two years ago I think I restored a car uh, MG and man that thing was like it wasn't full of rust but it was worse than this and it, and it worked out fine so I'm sure I'm sure we're gonna be okay with this 
It wasn't anything too crazy. I dealt with it uh, basically in the in the best way that I know. I sanded everything down as much as I could to try to expose uh, all the metal. I also gave a pretty good clean uh, to the inside of the fan because I'm applying the product for the, the corrosion. And second off, I'm also going to be uh, using some uh, spray adhesive uh, to glue some of the insulation. So I wanted it to be as clean and basically getting rid of but as much grease and all that stuff that I can. It was it was very satisfying to see it uh, being clean, but damn, like it was so hard to clean the ceiling. <laughs> it's just so uncomfortable to be like this. It's crazy. All right, I just finished cleaning this up. It looks very different. Uh, right now, my favorite part. I just went to buy some some like basically rust prevention product. And I'm going to be spraying it on this. Let's see if I can do this without getting everything dirty. Uh, ah man, ah, I can't wait for this. So, yeah, you might be wondering what the hell happened here. Basically, I ran out of product, so I just desperately went looking for some in my grandfather's, uh, like, paints and stuff, and I found this one, but, yeah, it's bright yellow, but who cares, if it works, it works. So that's it for today. I'm happy with the progress that we got so far. I feel like it's uh, like yesterday was cool, but I feel like today it's the it's the official beginning. Like we we have an empty canvas now, and we bought some insulation as well. So I'm starting to spend some money on here, which is very very sad. But I guess it's making it more official. So I'm excited for the days to come.